If enough people act as she did, I wouldn't be surprised if Tim turned his back on veganism for life. So well done, the carnists and carnivore dieters will love that. Recently, Tim Sheaf admitted on video that out of desperation to find health, he experimented by eating a couple of eggs and some salmon. In the video, he is obviously very, very distraught, very sad to see. Uh, he says, despite seemingly finding some relief from eating these products, he's gone back to looking at more vegan options to try and get himself well. At the end of the video, he asks his audience you know, if anyone's got any help they can offer. And so I commented, Hey brother, I'm sorry to hear of the pain you're going through. Here's my perspective for what it's worth. I wonder if you depleted certain nutrient reserves during your fast. From what I've learned, I think a raw diet could potentially come up lacking on certain micronutrients too. So, you know, some people had a bit of a problem with this, you know, raw foodists. And I will say it's probably possible to eat a healthful raw diet, but it probably needs extreme, extremely, to, to be extremely well planned. And if we're just eating tons of fruit and some leaves, you know, some people don't bother to get overt fats and things, and it can lead to deficiency. So I wonder if he was very depleted, he's got extended periods on this sort of diet. And then obviously if he has got deficiencies, then going on a fast is gonna really, you know, seriously cause some problems. I would invite you to consider researching about the gut microbiome and how scientists now consider the more diverse the range of Prevotella-type bacteria, for which the key is eating as diverse a range of whole plant foods as possible, the better the potential for optimal health. I also wonder if you were low on one or two key nutrients that are super concentrated in animal products and that's why you felt better. As I alluded to when we chatted, when you kidnapped me, I'll just hit insert a little clip here for context. Oh, it's you too. How you get? It's you. <laughs> We've been abducted. I too have been having gut issues. I can self them by eating solely maple syrup and protein powder, but I know that that's going to cause me further harm and I'm sure that a whole foods plant-based diet is our species specific food. So again, just for context, occasionally, it's mostly if I'm eating out, I believe I accidentally eat some gluten and that will wreck my guts for like five to seven days, like really, really bad. And typically what I have to do is just stop eating really, let that all calm down and then back to normal. 99.9% .9 of the time I'm extremely well on this whole foods plant-based diet. Um, because I'm on a mission at the minute and I'm trying to grow as big and strong as possible, uh, I'm, I'm being unkind to myself and I'm not letting myself take a break and I glutened myself, or this is what I believe I did, like about a month ago. Um, I've not given my body a chance to really recover. And I'm s basically what I did for the first couple of weeks is I just ate this maple syrup and protein powder because the low volume then allows me to carry on and not have terrible incapacitating cramps, which make you want to cry, they're so painful. Um, and then I just got onto buscapan tablets, which ease cramps, and then I've been piling in my whole plant foods since. So I've got pain there. I think, I think what I may have done is damaged my gut now by not putting in the right foods. Um, and so I'm in talks with Goji Man, I'm gonna have SIBO tests and, and find out like whatever's going on. So that's what that's all about. Anyway, I digress. Uh, oh yeah, I would invite you to reach out to up and coming YouTuber Goji Man, who's a nutritionist that has had first hand experience of terrible health while eating whole plant foods, uh, but has turned it around with tests and protocols to heal the underlying issues that they uncovered. He's helped me currently, seems like a really nice guy. And then on my most recent video, I received this comment. Vegans never go back to eating animal products. I've been vegan 13 years and have never gone back. No one needs to eat animals, end of. I have lost all respect for Tim and shan't be interested in anything he does from now on. I'm quite surprised you are supporting him. Your comment on his Facebook, on his YouTube page, sorry. I made a comment and it was not nasty or rude and he's blocked me. Wonder why that is. He's only allowing comments from people who think eating eggs and salmon is okay. If he wants to eat meat, fine, go ahead, but don't pretend to people like you're vegan and have a, a clothing brand promoting it. Well, for one thing, He's not pretending anything. He's come out publicly and said what it, very bravely what he's done. So then I replied, I'm quite surprised that you have a problem with me leaving a comment that is very obviously intended to help him get back to veganism. 
If Tim doesn't sort out whatever underlying issue he has and keeps eating animal products, there will be a huge blow for the movement. It's not like I said, good on you for eating animal products, mate. You have attacked me for no good reason. So later that day, I got back this reply. You've missed my point. If you are vegan and do it for the animals, which I thought he had, then you never go back to eating them. It's not an option. He sells clothes to promote veganism, which how can he possibly do now? Vegans are vegans. You don't dip in and out of it, unless of course you're not really that concerned about the animals. I'd hardly call my comment an attack and then crying with laughter faces. Chill out. So I'll be honest, you know, I know Tim and I, and I like him a lot. And, um, but yeah, when he was first saying what he'd done, I had the ultra vegan inside me. I had this like knee jerk reaction and I, in my mind's eye, I saw myself, you know, immediately unsubscribing. But I don't know if you want to call it my like higher consciousness, you know, wouldn't have that. And, and I felt obliged to, to hear the man out. Uh, and what I would say to this lady who commented is, you know, if you've not been terribly sick or suffering for extended periods, you can't really say what you might do. One thing I have talked about in the past, this magical desert island where there's animals to eat, but, but no feed, you know, what are the animals eating? But skip that part. Uh, and I always say, I, I don't think I, I would take an animal's life. I feel like I would just sit there, over time I'd become weak and tired. Uh, and by the time I got like hungry enough to think about doing something horrible like that, I don't think I'd have the energy to do it because I have fasted and I didn't even want to hold my head up after about four or five days, it's the, the lack of energy. But I'm very conscious that I've never been in that situation. So I cannot say oh, I would never do that under any circumstances. I'd like to think I wouldn't, but having not been there, I've got more sense than to say categorically, like, it can't happen. I'm trying to use empathy to understand Tim's perspective, which is not the same as saying I support his choice. I get the feeling that she does not understand that the two can be separate. Having empathy and understanding in this type of highly emotive situation might not be easy for any of us, but I think we owe it to the animals to at least try. This judgmental us and them mentality where we just write people off is doing nobody any good. As a species, we seem to pigeonhole people, making them other, creating separation and hate. And what we need to do is offer love, try to connect and keep the lines of communication open. Everyone is doing their best from their current level of capability. The overriding arc, I think, is that humans, along with other animals, are pre-programmed to seek pleasure and avoid pain. Not many people would seek to do a 35-day fast unless they were suffering terribly. I think this tells us something about where Tim is at. So I didn't enjoy how she just dismissed my feelings. You know, I've made about a thousand videos today. All my spare time is dedicated to promoting veganism touring the country, giving talks, speaking on TV and radio. Every spare moment of every day, I am promoting veganism. So yeah, from my perspective, that did feel like an attack. It felt like a right kick in the teeth. My feelings are valid, just as her feelings of being upset by Tim's actions are valid, as are Tim's feelings of desperation valid. It feels to me that with these crying with laughter faces, she's trying to cause me further pain Veganism is meant to be about compassion all the time, not just when it suits us. She has no empathy or understanding for Tim's or my perspective, yet she desperately wants me to see her perspective. In fact, she's beating me over the head with it. I really do not need someone to tell me what vegans do or how they act. I've been living and breathing veganism for the past seven and a half years I'd probably turn more people vegan in one day than she could hope to do so in a year. And Tim, probably even more so. I find it interesting how people are so quick to criticise, but so slow to offer praise. I've certainly never seen a comment on my channel before. If enough people act as she did, I wouldn't be surprised if Tim turned his back on veganism for life, 
So well done, the carnists and carnivore dieters will love that. Vegans have the right to feel angry, but I believe when we act out of anger, are overly judgmental, potentially coming across self-righteous, as I believe she has, then we are ineffective at helping animals. Do we want to be right or do we want to be effective? If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Go vegan for victory.